this is Organic Dairyman and today is Sunday, December 9th and uh, yeah, how is everybody doing today? Um, yeah, I just decided, yeah, what the heck, I'll just do a video for you guys so maybe you can watch something on Monday. And, but uh, yeah, so yeah, obviously you can see I'm here in the barn and um, well, I'm kind of waiting right now. There's supposed to be uh, somebody's supposed to be coming here. One of another organic farmer, a friend of ours. He's supposed to be coming here and getting some milk out of the tank because obviously they don't milk cows. And I don't know. I don't see him yet. <laughs> so I'm kind of waiting for him to come. And we're all done with all the chores. And everything got the cows all fed and. Um, and so, and as you saw earlier, I was grinding, had to grind a batch of feed for the cows. And you saw my live stream um, video probably, obviously by now you saw that. And um, yeah, I had a little, uh, I had a little, uh, my phone went dead. It only worked for about 46 seconds and my phone went dead. I need to get a new battery for my phone and stuff. So um, it just didn't get cold. It, the battery drains so fast, uh, it's got to get a different battery put in. Uh, go to the cell store and do that. And, uh, yeah, so I tried to live stream for you guys, and I was in a shed too. It probably, I don't know, maybe buffered. I don't know, just because of the steel and the shed affects the, the signal or something. I don't know. I probably shouldn't have tried it in the shed, but I thought, what the heck? I'll give it a try and you know, see what happens. But yeah, so, um, anyways. Um, I guess the main thing I wanted to talk about in this video, because obviously I'm in the barn, is um, we're kind of having a little spout of uh, winter dysentery in our herd, and uh, I don't know about any of any other um, organic or conventional dairy producers out there if you've been having trouble with winter dysentery. Um, if you don't know what winter dysentery is, if you're a non-dairy farmer and you don't know much about it, I'm going to post a link down in the description. Um, about describing what it is so be sure you check that out um, you'll get a little education about what it is it's kind of similar to like the flu like humans getting the flu so um, yeah but be sure to check out that description and, and and if there's anybody else any other like I say any other conventional or organic dairy farmers out there and you're um, I'm just curious to know, are you having troubles with winter dysentery in your herd? I mean, if you are, just let me know down in the comment section below. I'd, I'd be curious to know if you're having any, any troubles with it. We get it every year. Um, it just seems like it comes at different times, and so I don't know. Um, this year it came a little bit later. Normally we sometimes we get it earlier, but it's been kind of running through the herd. It started maybe early last week, maybe Monday, Tuesday. Um, we started getting it, and it's just kind of been, um, like I say, it's kind of been running through the herd. And the first signs that cow obviously has it is, well, it's explosive diarrhea. You know, they just shoot it out in their rear end and it's just really, really runny and stinky. And yeah, I'm just, like I said, I'm just curious if anybody else out there has just been having, any other dairy producers have been having trouble with it. Um, Obviously, you know, the cows will go down in milk production because of it and they'll maybe drop down at feed intake a little bit. I noticed that we've, some of the cows have dropped and their, their feed intake has come down a little bit because of it. Um, but, you know, overall they seem to be, um, they seem to be um, doing pretty good. Um, I was going to go up there, but kind of noisy yeah I'll go up there yeah we just got done um, feeding the cows a little while ago but yeah I know that stuff I just I just hate it when they get it because the milk production drops so low hi there Daisy you want to say hi to everybody say hi to the viewers what do you say Daisy huh yeah yeah Stick your tongue out at them. Stick your tongue out at the viewers. <laughs> no, you don't want to do that, do you? That's not nice, is it? Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, it's one of my favorite cows. Um, but yeah. Yeah, everybody's scarfing down their food. Yum, 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 yum. But uh, yeah, so um, still waiting for them to come. So um, yeah. Uh, eventually the milk production will come back up. It takes a while sometimes um, for the milk production to get back to where it was. But I know sometimes, like we've had in years past, where the dysentery is so bad that they've got blood in their in their manure. You know, it's, you know it, it can vary, but it's like I say, it's just kind of a nasty thing that you got to deal with every year. You always get it. I, mean, I don't know where it starts, you know, where it comes from, but I'm sure like the milkman probably in, you know, indirectly or in, ab, in ab, I can't say the word. He doesn't purposely spread it around, you know, it's just that when he goes from barn to barn, he's got it in his boots. And he probably just, you know, spreads it around. And, you know, that's how it gets spread from farm to farm. It's probably that way. The milkman or the veterinarian, whoever comes, you know, they went to another farm. And, I guess it is what it is. It's something you got to deal with and get through it. And the cows are getting better. There's some cows that had it, and now they're getting better. Their manure is getting stiffer, and so yeah. But yeah. So, anyways, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about that. And um, but like I say, let me know. I want to know if there's anybody else out there out there having trouble with winter disc carrying their herds too. Yeah, so anyways, yeah, that's not much going on here today other than what we the ground a little batch feed and, yeah, and stuff, but yeah. I apologize that the live stream didn't work out, but my second attempt at it, one of these times I'm going to get it good. I'm going to get it to work good. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll try it sometime when the weather gets nicer. Maybe I'll try to do it up by the house or something and get some wife. Try it off my Wi-Fi, I don't know if my Wi-Fi will support it or not. That's the thing when you live out here in the country, sometimes you're so limited as far as your Wi-Fi and sometimes even your cell reception, it's just, I don't know, it's just not as good out here where we're at, for the real parts, but, yeah, so anyways, yeah, but as, as far as tomorrow, oh, Monday, but if you watch the video, I'm going to try to get a video of it too. Um, actually, that guy that, that does that mating service, they call it Triple A Mating Service. He's going to be coming tomorrow and mating up some of the, the new heifers and stuff that haven't gotten mated up yet. So maybe I'll try to get him doing that. Who knows? Maybe I'll even interview him. I'll see. I'll see what happens. Maybe he doesn't want to be in camera either. Not everybody, like I say, but wants to be in camera. But um, I'll see what happens. But anyway, I'm still waiting on that. Still waiting for the, the guy to come get the milk yet. They like they like drinking raw raw milk, so right out of the tank. So normally that's what we do too, just drink milk out of the tank. And hopefully tomorrow I'll get my contacts. Um, I do actually have I'm wearing one contact right now. I only had one left, and so I put it in my. The one, the one eye because one eye is worse than the other. My right eye is the worst eye. It's really blind. I guess one, I've had some incidents when I was a kid. There was one time I was digging a hole with a, with a little stick and I took a jab in my eye with, with a stick and then I spilled barn acid on it one time. I got, you know, chemicals in it one time. My right eye is really, oh yeah, and then one time when I was younger too, uh, my older, my oldest brother, yes, Robert, if you're watching this, you probably remember it. <laughs> uh, we were playing a game of baseball and we were using a tennis ball and I was pitching the ball and that, my oldest brother he smoked the ball and when he hit it with the baseball bat it just, it just hit me right in my right eye so I've had like three injuries to my right eye um, so my, my vision in my right eye is the worst so when I get contact I have to have a thicker one you know one with a stronger contact on there so yep so that's what happened um, I 
I damaged my eye once, so. And, um, yeah. So, anyways, yeah. But I got one in contact in anyway, and um, at least I figure my brain, you know, kind of adjusts. So it's almost like I have two in, but I don't. My brain is kind of adjusting for it a little bit, so it helps. It helps me see a little bit. I figure if not, I can at least close one eye and see because when I'm in the barn changing cows, it's like I can't see if if they're done, if the milk is done coming in because my vision is so blurry. So I figure at least if I could close one eye and and it looked like that, then I could see it. Oh, it seems kind of silly, but it is. But, anyway. but anyways, um, I think he's going to be coming here pretty soon, and I need to get going. So, but anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. If you enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comment section below. And like I say, let me know if you, if you, um, any other dairy farmers out there, if you're having trouble with winter dysentery, I'd like to know. And, um, Thanks everybody for watching this video, and please, if you have not hit that subscribe button, you're watching my, my videos every day, and uh, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, what are you waiting for? Go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and um, yeah, and like I said, thanks again everybody for watching. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter, at Organic Diamond. Check out all my other videos, and um, I guess that's about everything I've got got for today's video, so um, I'll catch you later.